Following her husband Justin Timberlake's arrest on Monday night for a DWI in New York, Jessica Biel was first seen in public on Tuesday. The 42-year-old actress was captured on camera in New York City filming scenes for her forthcoming Amazon series The Better Sister. Beale stood around the set in between takes, appearing muted and agitated. The Hamptons community of Sag Harbor, where her 43-year-old husband was arrested by police for refusing to take a breathalyzer, was not far from the set. Shortly after midnight, Timberlake ran a stop sign and was stopped. He was apparently being tailed by police, who pulled him over after noticing his car veering across the road. When officers stopped Timberlake, they said he smelled heavily of alcohol. He apparently declined to take a breathalyzer test, but he passed the field sobriety test. The vocalist of NSWNC was then cited for failing to stay in his lane and running a stop sign, in addition to being charged with one misdemeanor count of DWI. The 26th of July is his next court date. On Tuesday, Timberlake was seen being led by police while wearing handcuffs. Later, he was spotted leaving the Hamptons police station with lawyer Ed Burke. Jessica was spotted in New York City on the same day that she was shooting more of her Apple series. She appeared wearing a costume that she had been photographed wearing during last week's filming. The actress wore her filthy blonde hair parted in the middle of a harsh blunt cut bob. Given that she has worn various hair lengths while filming her series, the appearance might have been a wig. She was dressed in an equally edgy maxi dress with stripes. It had semi-sheer brown stripes interspersed with broad, erratic black lines. With a gold chain around her throat that resembled rope, the actress gave the ensemble a hint of elegance. Beale wasn't entirely serious, at one point, when conversing with crew members, she seemed to laugh. The series, which she co-stars in with Elizabeth Banks, is based on Oliver Burke's 2019 novel. They portray two sisters who, following the murder of one of their husbands, are united by tragedy. After learning that her husband is scheduled to play in Chicago this weekend despite his DWI record, Beale got to work. According to people with first-hand knowledge, the 43-year-old singer-songwriter still intends to perform two gigs at the United Center later this week. According to his tour website, Timberlake will play on Friday and Saturday evenings, he plans to attend both gigs, according to the sources. Although there is currently no information on whether the hitmaker intends to address the controversy, fans and guests are undoubtedly interested in hearing from him regarding his arrest for driving while intoxicated. It is believed that those who purchase tickets may anticipate seeing essentially the same stage show that he has performed in the past. Since going on tour in April of this year, Timberlake's production has received praise for its excellent design, which includes a platform that hovers above the stage and may have been influenced by one of Kanye West's past shows. With a safety belt ensuring he doesn't fall, Timberlake's stag design is even more lavish as the platform swivels around venues and tilts down, leaving him hanging over the edge. When the moving platform is not hovering over the audience, it even functions as a huge vertical video screen. It will be tough to get inexpensive tickets, so anyone expecting to view the exhibit at his Chicago gigs would need to be ready to part with a significant sum of money. The lowest-priced tickets for the first Chicago event are selling for $81, including fees and taxes, according to the ticket resale website GameTime. Although it is comparable to the costs of large arena and stadium tours, Anyone wanting to get a good seat will probably be severely shocked by the sticker price. The reseller claims that the most expensive tickets are going for an astounding $5,897 per. Its sources were unable to verify whether the singer of Crimea River intended to perform his upcoming gigs in New York City. Before doing additional performances in the Northeast, he has two dates set for the storied Madison Square Garden on June 25th and 26th. In the affluent Hamptons community of Sag Harbor, not far from New York City, Timberlake was taken into custody on Monday night and accused of misdemeanor DWI. When the cops stopped him over, he apparently smelled like alcohol. In the state of New York, his driving privileges have been suspended because he declined to submit to a breathalyzer test at the scene. Even though Justin had to spend the night in jail after being arrested for DWI and other driving infractions, he hasn't said much about his detention up to this point. In addition, he received citations for allegedly failing to stay in his lane and running a stop sign. The next court date for Timberlake, who was freed on bond, is July 26. Despite the NSWNC singer's silence,
Britney Spears' followers have taken to social media to express their outrage about the arrest. Along with a clip from the pop star song video, Britney Stan shared on her ex account on Tuesday morning, saying, Fans are buying Criminal by Britney Spears after Justin Timberlake's arrest. Others drew attention to Timberlake's apparent hypocrisy in being arrested for DWI after he was reported to have advised Spears to give up alcohol. Although he never spoke to the singer personally, several of her admirers believe that remarks he made in 2007 when winning a Brit Award were meant just for Spears. Give up alcohol. You are aware of who you are. He said, I'm speaking to you, at the moment. You'll start acting carelessly. All right. A magazine will make negative remarks about you. In a late interview with GQ, Timberlake refuted that the message was directed at Spears. The former boy band singer told Fox News that he was just making reference to people in the crowd, no one in particular, according to a representative for him. Silas, age 6, and Phineas, age 4, are the couple's boys. Timberlake and Beale were wed in 2012.